Well, I'm gonna see if this works. I haven't uh, tried to do a video for so long with my tripod. Uh, okay. I saw uh, that Jamie Riddler, who, uh, who's on YouTube and online other places, and her sister Shannon had done these videos called Journal Showdown. And they grabbed all their journals, every kind, writing, art, whatever, and just showed what they had. And I thought that was kind of interesting. and have been going to join in. Um, it's just taken me forever. Uh, the three journals that I use every day almost, well this one, there are two every single day. Um, this one here I made, uh, it's uh, leather and then I lined it. Uh, I used I forget what they call it, but it was like a double sticky iron-on thing so that I could put um, a, a nice soft piece of cloth on the inside. And I use it, it's like, a, a, you know, it's a faux dory, and it's the uh, field note size. So I use field notes and other, uh, I, I love Word because it's got... Um, I don't want to show you things, but it's got little, so you probably can't even see, but there's little circles here, you know, like you can check off or mark off or, for lists. And this one I got on uh, Jet Pens. Uh, it's refillable. If you can see, the, the covers come in different colors or clear. And I like the fact that it's got these little covers so you can stick receipts or other things in there. And this one, I basically use the whole thing. For things related to purchases and bills and all that kind of stuff. So it's basically like wish lists and money stuff. <laughs> so I, but I have this around all the time. Uh, and then every morning I do a, a written uh, journal. And right now I am using this. It's a refillable lavender. Uh, Stanley Journal, uh, which I don't like. It's beautiful, and it's got this gorgeous cover. I have bought this years and years ago, probably over 20 years ago. The trouble is you can't use fountain pens on it very well, and the covers kind of stick. I never, never want to fold right. You have to adjust it on this one. I have two of them. I've got another red one, too. And they've got beautiful gilded, uh, gilded, gilted pages on the edges and all that. But you ha almost have to use either a, a super fine lined, which I do like, uh, fountain pen. But it has to be very, very light ink. Uh, it just tends to bleed through. So then I, I have to use gel pens or ballpoints, which I don't use ballpoints, but I use gel pens. So I'm kind of, I had been avoiding using these for decades. <laughs> and I, I, when I moved recently, I thought, you know, you really have to use up some of these old journals. So that's what I am doing. Normally, I'll show you, I, my favorites are Rhodia because you can use fountain pens with these and Covadas and I, I think these are my very favorites they lie they lie so nice and flat and you know these these are absolutely wonderful with fountain pens and so I have been just buying these and I thought and I have these other journals that I've had around forever that I'm not using and I thought, you really should use those up. And I had things like this, you know, uh, which I had bought for like $10 at Office Depot, you know, 20, 25 years ago. And so I had been forcing myself to use up some of these. So I had used this one uh, recently, and now I've got this one and another refill to use up. And I'm 
I, it's so funny. I'm so used to using the last 10 years or so, I uh, especially, I use fountain pens all the time. In fact, this is usually sitting inside of another drawer, but it's just a cover from a, an old box. And this is how OCD I am. You know, I keep a little notebook that tells which pen, what ink I have in it. <laughs> you know, like my Pereira Red right now has Pilot Irashizuku Amairo in it. And, you know, I mean, it's like I, I tell what's in each, each one, you know. Uh, and I rotate. I rotate when I write letters and I rotate when I journal in the morning. Um, so this is, this is how OCD I am about my fountain pens. Uh, so anyway, I do this, I, I write uh, uh, usually about a page, but some, you know, some days I write more, some days I write less, and, then, and almost every day I write you know, sometime after I get up. And then the other journal I use every day is kind of new. This I just started this year. Uh, I had several different journals that I was using. You know, one for this kind of list, and they were kind of lists was mostly what they were. Uh, To-do lists and things like that. Well, I then I ran across online um, bullet journals. And so this is, okay, I got to remember what it, I, see, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, let, let's term 1917 that journal, that's what this is. And it's, you can use fountain pens on it if you want. Uh, and they, they work pretty well in this. Um, but actually, because this is strictly like a fancy to-do list for me. It's my bullet journal and I started in January and I found out shortly, I saw this online and thought, oh, I want to try this. And I didn't start right away in the beginning, but, uh, and then I, I, my health is poor. So doing a daily to-do to -do list is just ridiculous for me because I might, you know, have a whole bad week, or I, I, every plan I make is tentative, so it, it has evolved to the point where, this was when I moved, I had so, I had so many lists that before I was moving, and then after, to do after, and stuff, what I love about the bullet journal, see, is you can look it up, uh, you know, I've, got, I've still got sewing projects list that I started before I found out I was going to move, which I, I can go back to. Where is it there? Uh, sewing things for Leah and for me, different sewing projects. And you can just keep adding to it through the year or years. This is going to take me a long time to fill up. You know, but I had the address change list to do before I moved, to do after the move purging lists, <laughs> you know, uh, all kinds of lists. But what I started doing was I was redoing these, these lists at first for the month, which I liked because you, you date them one through, you know, whatever, 30, 31, 28, whatever. And then, you know, you can make up this list here and you can check off something that things that you do daily or weekly more often things like that and so what I ended up doing I was re trying that every month forget it so what I did is I made a template that I um, print off and cut out and then I can just tape it in and it's it saved me a lot of time and see like for November and then I, I always have the page that page first, uh, which is, you know, more of a daily thing. And then, like, if I have a weekly goal to do, you know, I can just highlight it for the week. And then I have the monthly goals. 
and I write a lot. I write a lot of letters and uh, uh, letters and birthday cards and things like that and thank you cards and things. So I have the little calendar. I circle that I, when I have birthdays and things like that. And then these are letter letters and these are like birthday cards or thank you cards I put at the bottom. And I found that I needed, I kept needing more room <laughs> for this. <laughs> And now I have much less this month after moving. Uh, and then I just do a weekly page, or about a week. Uh, I have found I try to go through and do four for me because I just, you know, it takes me so long to get anything done. So I try to do, even if, it, you know, sometimes it's a week and a half or whatever, but I try to do four four different weeks like here's Sunday through Sunday and then then Monday through Sunday Monday through Sunday and then the last one ended up being Monday through Monday and then again I'm already I, I'm ahead this time I've already set up for December and started you know doing that and then I decorate if I you know put a little bit of washi tape or something on there for for something you know I did more decorating and stamping <laughs> in the beginning and I, I've been so busy I haven't been able to do that kind of stuff very much uh, with the move but now things will change though they're, they're settling down and I'm recovering from the move and I ended up what my very very favorite thing to use in here is fr friction 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 pens because they're erasable and I color code things of you know what I'm doing, and then I've got erasable highlighters too that I uh, keep in here, and this I use in here all the time. This is this is the staples, and like when I write November or whatever to do after move whatever I I've got this, and I just got these from Jet Pens. Um, because I thought maybe a thing settled on. There's an alphabet in here too, and some shapes. The alphabets are the same on both the pink and the blue, but it's got different, different, uh, whoops, let me see if I can show you. Different shapes and things on, on these. And they, were, they weren't very expensive, I can't remember, two, three dollars. And uh, those are brand new additions I haven't used yet. And then I only have one little thing that has stamps uh, for rubber stamps that I use in there. But this thing is great. I got this at Jet Pens too. This is, I just love this. <laughs> I've got it so full I can hardly zip it right now. But I, I absolutely adore that. They're, everywhere my bullet journal goes, this goes with it. Okay, so those are the, the journals I use all the time. And let me see here. Oh. Yeah, and this is my other one. See, no fountain pens. I, this is what I do when I would get journals. You know, I would do samples and find out if it bleeds through or not. Obviously, everything almost bleeds through in these Levenger uh, refills. They're, they're absolutely terrible for fountain pens. You can, you know, they're fine for gel pens. Uh, if they're not too juicy, but that's about it. But this is the other one I mentioned, the red one, and I got I've got to use that one up. I told myself I have to use up some of these before uh, I can buy any more Covadas or Rhodia. <laughs> and like this is um oh well, this is a new project I'm thinking of for next year, so I'll save that. But I just got like a couple of things that. I, I've got to use up. I've got to use all these up, I promise myself, before I've even got a... And these are terrible with fountain pens, too. Mol, Moleskinas. Awful. <laughs> um, so these these I've got to use up. Oh, I've got so many journals. This here, I haven't even begun to use this. I started making these the beginning of the year, and then, you know, with the move, everything's been sidetracked. But I had wanted to use this for maybe some artwork or writing or whatever, but I just made up a few little 
folders to go in here but this is another just like my um, my little one I made it the same way only this is like a half page size uh, of a um, you know American Western version page eight and a half by eleven so it's a half half size and I've got writing ones in here and I've got drawing ones in here but I haven't I haven't actually been using this yet so this is something I want to use now this coming year too and what's I love about these if you see all the rubber bands and the because the in the Fodoris you know you just can pull these out and put a new one in because they're just in here like that and you can just pull them out take them out, put a, put a new one in. And so I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this yet. I just made it. You know, sometimes you just, I love making things and it doesn't mean I'm that good at using them up. Okay. I do have a, have plans for some something new uh, in two areas for 2016. Okay, I found this. Uh, when I was going through everything when I moved and I had there's three of these refills They came in a three pack that I bought, you know online and they're absolutely dreadful also for fountain pens um, But I thought okay as long as I'm trying to use up some of these old journals And I had a set of three of the refills for these if I cut them They don't quite fit so I have to like angle cut here to, on the front and the back so that it'll fit. Um, but what I was thinking was, I want to use these up, and I thought, I saw um, someplace online, somebody was talking about doing like 365 day, days of uh, writing prompts. You know, so I thought, oh, that sounded interesting. Um, so I was uh, I was just snooping around online everywhere I could find some free uh, journaling prompts or writing prompts. So I have collected a bunch of them um, on my laptop. And what I was planning to do then with this and the refills is just to do a minimum of a page. Um, if I want to do more than a page, that's fine, but to try to do a minimum of a page on a, on a writing prompt every day, starting, you know, in January. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how long that will last, but that's the plan. So I have this to add to my daily stuff. And let's see, then we get into the art stuff, the art journals. And I, when I moved, I found, oh, I thought, gosh, I've got different journals that I haven't touched for so long. Um, you know, this is just a Moleskina watercolor uh, that I was playing around and, you know, like doing a challenge here and there. Uh, nothing, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. It's just playing around. Uh, that was the very first um, time I ever tried to use, not Mod Podge, but, um, oh, I can't even think. I told you I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, I, this has just been goofing around stuff, you know, experimental playing around stuff. It's almost done. Uh, and I would never buy one of these again either and then this one I started this out long ago in fact I probably got a date on it yeah <laughs> oh dear April 9th in 09 uh, the everyday matters group the EDM group and their challenges you know like um, every day you're supposed to draw something like here a shoe uh, a disc lamp, artist bag or a purse, cup, you know, things like that. And I had started out doing this and then <laughs> I just got waylaid. 
So I never did uh, get farther. Oh, there's Karma. Huh. Sitting on the back of that, my old chair. And I've got the list. Like if you wanted to, you don't have to go in order, but of course you know me with my OCD. I was going in order. And I even saved, these were from a different notebook I started on in the first place, but I hated the paper, so I, so I cut them out and stuck them in here later after the fact. But anyway, yeah, so I might get back to doing this a little bit here and there too. And that might fit, these things might fit in with my uh, new plan for 2016 also. Uh, my plan is, okay, the, I, I, on Facebook I saw the Covatus Facebook site. Okay, there's a lady in there and she was talking about doing a 365 days of a page a day art or, you know, something creative or, or artwork. And I thought that, I thought, hmm, it's only a page. It only had to be, you know, whatever size journal you got. If it was a little one, it wouldn't matter. And I had some. And I thought, oh, that really sounds interesting. Well, then I found out that they meant that only to be used with Covatus paper or Covatus journals or uh, planners. And even though I, as I said, I love Covatus, it ha it's great for fountain pens and everything, but if I was going to do a page of some kind of art stuff every single day, well, I would want to use watercolors or, I mean, that's what I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn how to use acrylics and all these different mediums and stuff. So I wouldn't want to use a thin little, you know, writing paper, really. Uh, and I thought, oh, well, how about I just do it myself? So that's, that's what my plan is. And I thought, I, ha I had a couple of these. And these are just those hand handbook, uh, and it's now you talk about small. I would only have to do one page, you know. Uh, and I thought I'm not going to be super strict with myself, and I'm not. And the whole thing is, is if if I miss because I'm I'm feeling awful or sick, well, I don't want to give up, you know. And I thought one of the things that'll help me with my OCD is if I don't do it in the same journal. And I've wanted to um, try my, these are this uh, Stillman and Byrne uh, journals. And they've got different kinds. I wrote in here so I would know which one was which. Like this is the Gamma sketchbook for dry medium, lightweight, light wash and ink. And it's a uh, vellum surface in this ivory paper. And this is their... Epsilon for mixed media, and this is white with smooth paper, and this one is the Alpha for mixed media, and it's uh, it's got a grain on this. This is white, and it's got a little bit of more of a grain uh, to it. And they have three other ones too, three other kinds. And I thought, well, and these aren't very big; they're about five by eight, I think something like that and I thought well I mean and you could draw on these you uh, I could you know sketch or you could write they even you know suggested if you didn't feel arty that day you could you could uh, draw or, or not draw um, write something creative or whatever and I thought well gives me a lot of options the, the handbook paper is all the same in all of them. And it's, you know, if you were going to use acrylics or something in there, you'd have to put, um, you know, uh, gesso or something on there first. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. This is this is a tentative. As I said, everything in my life is uh, all the plans are tentative. Um, 
So that's the that's tentative plans. And then as far as other little journals I already had, this is um, Caché, I believe it's called, that I had. I already had this one too, and it's small. And it's more of a um, drawing uh, sketchbook. Got that one. And these two I made. This was the first one uh, that I made after I did, I, I went to a, a class when I was in college. Uh, I, it was a voluntary thing to go to and I, it was, did, she asked, did anyone want to learn book binding? Well, of course, oh yes, yes, I do. And uh, I made a little tiny book in class and then this was the first one I tried to make after that. And it's got like um, watercolor paper in it, so it's just really tiny. So I, I'm about, I've been afraid to use these. <laughs> you know, I made them and then I'm afraid to use them. And this is actually leather. This was uh, leather scraps Leah had, and uh, and it's red, and so of course I loved it. And this also has watercolor paper in it. You know. And these are Coptic stitch bound. And so I thought, well, I guess, you know, we'll see if I get brave enough to, to use those. <laughs> we'll see. Um, the other ones, which I have gotten brave enough to use, and these are uh, like junk art journals <laughs> to me. Um, that's what I think of them as because... They were the first ones I was going to try to make. And I mass produced a bunch of them together. In fact, I had two more that I haven't done anything with. One of them's gigantic. Scares the hell out of me. <laughs> um, and they do have watercolor paper in them. This one has a little bit, a little bit better quality, but it's student grade, which I found out was really a bad idea. Uh, and, and this one here too, uh, this one's got, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a student grade cheap watercolor paper. And these ones here have, this is Dick Blix, and these have been gessoed, and they, they're very buckly and stuff, but because I hated the paper, <laughs> I just hated the watercolor paper because it's it just it's it's terribly buckly and awful. And so various things I would find online, you know, to try to keep up with, I would I just grab these um, and do stuff in them. And I didn't care, which ended up being a good thing because I didn't care what I did to it <laughs> because the paper is really awful. Um, so I was doing different, I don't know, and I have some things I start and didn't finish, or, no, this is so much fun playing around with a straw and, uh, air can, um, with ink, I was <laughs> doing, but I have lots, and I did just sell the rest of these because that paper is really dreadful, and, and here I had big plans, see, so that's why I'm not promising anything, and that's as far as I got, <laughs> Um, I was going to do the documented life project. I was writing down every week what the prompt was, and that was as far as I got, you know. So I've got this whole thing for junk journals. Um, and when you're doing stuff and you need to clean off a uh, barrier, uh, this is the kind of stuff I would grab to do. And this was my other big plan for 2015, uh, was the journal 52 prompts. And I didn't even, I, I didn't even get anything done. See? So, like I say. But, these are great junk journals for me. Um, and, like, I want to learn, um, I got a jelly plate, I want to learn how to do that. And uh, these will be excellent for, you know, wiping brayers off and stuff. So, that is the plans. Now, I haven't actually used this paper and I, I really can't remember it's another student grade paper but it was a different brand so I don't know if it's any better than the Dick Blick 
or not because I, I can't say. But the Dick Blick student grade paper was, watercolor paper was horrible. In fact, you know, this, this one here might be the other brand, and this one here might still, I think, yeah, this is Dick Blick. I can tell. This is the Dick Blick one. It's super thin, buckles, stuff bleeds, as you can see, bleeds right through it and stuff. So you have, you have to, like, gesso or put, you know, ground on it or something before you, before you use it. So, yeah, this one might be the only one that I made from that other brand. And you can tell it's a lot thicker paper, so I might have better luck with this if I can ever get over being terrified of this huge, huge pages. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyway, those are my journals for my journal showdown. Um... So that's it from me from Fargo. <laughs> Thanks for watching.